Hello everybody, here I want to show you how we can set up and install Apache Spark in Windows. Firstly, we will download all the files needed and some installer. First, we can download GTK8 here. Okay, download GTK8. And hit enter. I recommend you to use GTK8 version because I ever use GTK9 version and it gave me error. So again, I recommend you to download GTK8 version. Just click this link here. And this is their official website. And scroll down, click accept here. And because of I use Windows 64 version, I click this installer here. Okay. And then download it. And here we will use Python because Python is beautiful programming language and there is a Python version of Apache Spark, we call it PySpark. So that we need to install Python interpreter in our laptop, in our Windows. So in this case, I will use Anaconda here. So we will download it first. Download Anaconda, Python, Windows and then hit enter and click this link. Okay, click this is for Windows. And then again, because of my Windows is 64 bit version, I click this link here. Okay, click no thanks here. And click save button here to download. And then we need to download Apache Spark in their official website. We can type here, download Apache Spark here and then hit enter. Okay, we click this link, download Apache Spark here. And then we come to their official website. We will use the last version of Apache Spark, which is 2.2.0. So choose here. And then we will use pre-build for Apache Hadoop 2.7 and later here. Click it. And finally, this is our URL link download. Just click here, Spark 2.2.0 pin Hadoop 2.7TGZ here. Click it. And then once more, click this link here. And click button save to download. And next, we need to download Scala installer here. Just type download Scala and hit enter here. And then click this link, download Scala programming language here. We come to their official website and scroll down. Until we find Windows MSC installer here. Okay, and then click this link. And click save button to download it. And the last one because we use Apache Spark for a pre-built version of Hadoop 2.7 or letters, we need to download Hadoop. Okay, so there is a build version of Hadoop. We can just click Hadoop Win Utils here, and then hit enter, and then click this. Uh, GitHub link. GitHub Steve Logran slice win utils here. Click it. And we will use this folder Hadoop 2.7.1 here. To download it, we can just go to this button here. Click this button, clone or download, and then click this button, download zip. Okay. And click save button to save it. Okay, that's all. We already download all files and installer needed to set up Apache Spark in Windows. All my downloaded files are in folder download programs here. Okay. First, we need to install GDK H here. Just right click and then click open here. Or you can do double click. Okay, this is our GDK installation. Just 
click button next here and then also next again and while we are waiting for the GDK its installation until it is done we can install Anaconda here to install Python Interpreter and Jupyter Notebook okay just right click and click open again or do double click okay this is our Anaconda installation first we can click next here and then click I agree button here and then click next again also I just use default one and click next here and then click install button here okay I just skip this video part and after waiting some minutes we will get this window and our GTK installation is done and click this close button here to finish the installation and then the next we will try to check whether our GTK edge version is successfully installed in our PC or not so we can open command prom here and then type java strip version and then hit enter here okay we can see here that gdk is already successfully installed in our pc and then this is our anaconda installation click next button here and then finally it's almost done and then click finish button here and we will also check whether our anaconda is successfully installed in our pc or not by opening our anaconda command prompt here Okay, Anaconda prom here and then type Python strip capital V okay and then hit enter we can see that Python 3.6.3 Anaconda here is successfully installed in our PC Anaconda comes with some default package and we can check it by type conda space list here and then hit enter and because of we will use Jupyter Notebook to code our Apache Spark letter, we will ensure whether Jupyter Notebook is already installed here. Yeah, this one, Jupyter. Okay. And then the next step, we will extract our Apache Spark here. We can just click in this file, right click, and then choose 7-zip here, and then choose extract to Spark blah 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 here. Just click it. And this is our extracted folder open it and inside the folder it's still compressed file here and the file type is 7 file so i recommend you to extract using 7 zip if you don't have 7 zip in your computer you can just download first and install in your computer first so this is our extracted folder click it to open and click again here and this is the contents here so go back here and we want to rename it as spark and then we want to move this folder by right click and choose cut here and we want to move in drive c and create new folder we will name it as spark and then open it and paste here next step we need to install Scala okay same we can just right click and then click open and this is the Scala installation click button next here okay and then check ISA blah 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 and click next button here and for Scala installation location we will change it okay we will move it in drive C wait okay drive c and then in folder spark here okay and then in subfolder scala so i type scala here and click ok button here so ensure that our location is in c slice spark slice scala here and then click next button here and click install button here So until now in our folder Sparks in Trefc we have two folders. The first is Scala folders of our Scala installations and then Spark folder for our Apache Spark files. And then the next step we need to place our head to build version in this compressed file winutilsmaster.zip here. 
First, we need to extract it by right click and 7 zip and extract to here. Okay, and this is our extracted folder. Click it to open, and then we will use Hadoop 2.7.1 here. Click it to open, and what we need is this bin folder. Okay, double click to open it. So, this is binary files of Hadoop build version here. Okay, so go back and right click click copy here and then paste in our spark folder here and make a new folder in our spark folder we name it hadoop here and open it and paste here okay so to review it we already have this uh, folder we have Spark folder in our drive C and then it consists of three folders, Hadoop, Scala, and also Spark. You can see in the directory structure here. And then the next step, we need to add some new variables in our Windows environment variables. First, we click this PC, okay, right click, and then click properties. And click this advanced system setting here. Okay, and then click environment variable here and we will add some new variables in this box system variables here so I already add some new variables that we have to add in this system variables of our windows you can just go to this description in this video and do copy and paste from there first we need to add Hadoop home here just copy it and click new button here and paste here Hadoop home and then this URL copy and paste in this column okay and this URL is in our spark folder and slice Hadoop so click OK button here and then the second one we add new variable and uh, copy and paste Java home here also its URL here okay and this URL is in drive C program files Java here and GDK here okay so you can change regarding your old URL here okay and the third one we need to add Scala home here click new button here paste here Scala home and then also the URL here paste here okay and this url is in drive c in spark in scala folder here and then in pin folder here okay and the fourth one we need to add a spark home here okay click new button again and pass here also the path okay paste here and then click OK. This URL path is in our Spark folder here, and then Spark again, and then in this bin folder. OK. And the five one, we need to add PySpark Python variable here. Click button new, and then paste here, and then also its path. Paste here, and then click OK. We can see that this path is in drive C and then program data here and then anaconda tree here. Okay, and then python.exe. Scroll down, scroll down, and this one. Okay, so again, you can change regarding your own path location. And in this case, we want to skip first the number 6 and number 7 variable here because number 6 and number 7, we will need it if we want to use Jupyter Notebook as our IDE to code Apache Spark, okay? So first, we want to test it in our CMD, so we don't need to add the variable number 6 and 7 here. Okay, we skip into number 8 here. We will add Spark pin folder to our path window. You can see variable path in the system variables here. Okay, this one and click edit here. Okay, and then click new button here. We can copy paste this one, this path. Okay, copy and then okay, click new button again here and paste in this. Okay, 
and click OK button and click OK again OK again so in the last one our spark bin folder is in spark folder okay spark again and then in this folder pin spark so this is the binary build version of our apache spark okay that's done we already add some new variable that is needed to set up apache spark in windows and we will test whether our apache spark can be run in our windows machine okay you can open anaconda command prompt Okay, and then type PySpark and hit enter and wait it. Nah, this one. Okay, so you can test by typing print hello world here and then hit enter. Okay, so this is your output hello world spark and let's type quit here. Okay to quit this Apache Spark and then we can check our Spark version here by typing spark strip submit double strip version and then hit enter okay so this is our Spark version 2.20 so we can see that our Spark is already successfully installed in our Windows machine Okay, congratulations, we already successfully installed and set up Apache Spark in our Windows machine. And in the next video, I will show you how we can set up Jupyter Notebook as our IDE to code Apache Spark in our Windows machine. Okay, see you in the next video.